Number two, imposter syndrome. Uh, I can I can probably hear your inner monologue around yep. it. Yep. Like I just said, I feel lucky. Yeah. But you also feel like, why me? Like there was there was some kids that were super talented in high school that went to school for acting and did all the things and they did everything and never, and you're like, wait, you're doing all this and are you really good? Right, but you know, I'm sure you've learned or figured out by now, a lot of it's just your face and body. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. Nothing. Talent's it's, fine. It's so true. If talent you and I have the same amount of this. talent and I look like this and you look like that, you're going to book Camacho. Right. And you're right. just going to book more shit because yep. you, as when I direct, it's like when I cut to someone, the audience needs to feel a certain way in a split second. Yeah. With you, they're like, if I'm low angle, it's he's menacing, he's mean, message. he's silly, he's whatever. Yep. Eh, you cut to me, you're like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so a lot of it is, so it's imposter syndrome, but yeah. have you ever cast anything? No, no. What's interesting is, I almost would, it would be an interesting uh, exercise. I always want people to come, if I'm just casting a commercial, and I'll go, come watch come watch these 90 people. Wow. And you just go, nope, nope, okay, nope. Ah. So it's, it's all a feeling. It's, it's, all, the, it's the a feeling, but it's mostly you. just physical. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot yeah. of it's just kind of modeling in a weird way. Yeah, and it, but it's too much. You're saying it's too much put on talent. You have to be talented, right? But Everybody. when people say, "I know I'm talented," you can know you're. I'm talented. I look like what I look like. You're not gonna. You're gonna cast me as a jerk yeah. or a boss yeah. or a drug addict. <laughs> That's just what it is, guys. Wow. You know what I mean? This is, this, dude, uh, first of all, <laughs> butt cheek buoy. But, I, I mean, got right this. The and Neil this. Brennan's butt cheek system. Uh, <laughs> and it's and just, this. most of it's physical. Dude, I, I remember. You're not going to be cast as a 22-year-old. But see, this is the thing. I remember, This was, I had a crisis, and this was bad. Oh, everybody hates Chris. Well, we were shooting this whole thing, and I remember saying the lines, and I was just like, I... I don't, I'm not believable. Dude, I doubted everything I was doing. I, I, it was around the third season, and we only did four. But around the beginning of the third, I was like, you know how there were things where I could, when I did the movie White Chicks, I felt every word. I knew I was like, it was knocking it out the park. Well, you, you also worship white women. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> We all know that. That's why the part worked. It, it was. It was. It was excellent. Okay, I knew it. Uh, but, but at the same time, when I was doing that, first two years, I was like, okay, I'm getting better. But then there was a moment I was just going, I don't. I'm. Not, I'm not good. I'm not good at this. And I was horrified. Like I thought everybody was going to see it. I thought everyone was going to notice. I remember asking my wife. She was like, no, it looks great. What are you talking about? But I was like, I don't believe it. I thought she was lying. And then you start to feel like everyone yep. is just pandering. Mm -hmm. And 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 it it was like that for a long time. And that imposter syndrome is a big, big block. I mean, even now. I'm, I'm, I'm hosting America's Got Talent. And I'm out there and it's live and the whole thing. But... You know, I'm big. I'm I'm, I'm a big personality, I, and I like being like, "Hello, everybody!" I love that. I like walking in a room. What's up? Hey, because this is the thing: attention is the hardest thing to get. Like, yeah, no, especially you know, now. If I yeah. walked in like, "Hey, everybody, how you doing?" Some people can do that. Yeah, I can't do that because people are like, they're still doing their crosswords they're still looking over here. They're still doing. I'm like, yo, I want that. If that's what the mission is. You know, I want to get that. But then I get, you know, you look and maybe look at some tweet or something. And like, he's so loud. He's too loud. And why is he yelling? You have a mic. You know, and you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm yelling. I'm yelling too much. And maybe I never was supposed to do this. And it, it, it's so crazy how it'll creep up. And I've been doing it for five yeah, I years. Yeah. I mean, it's the only, I say it's the only talent where you wake up and go, I don't think I can do, and I don't think airline pilots wake up and go like, I can't fly planes. That's I can't, the, I don't understand. I'm a doctor. I don't even know what a scalpel is. That is exactly, you go, 
And it's like every time you do it, you're starting from the beginning. Yeah. Get back in line. That's what I call it. Get back in line. Great. Get back in line. That's exactly it. And you feel like it's the first time you've ever done it. And you go, why can't these lines? Why did I say that? And then you start redoing what, you know, what you did or the audition process or whatever. And you're like, you know, there's times I've totally monked up an audition. Then I go in the car after the audition's over and do the thing for like two hours by myself. Yep. Just so I could do it and say I could do it. But it's it's a waste of time. And it's so ridiculous. But this is the stuff we go through. But you know? I feel like, I, again, I could be dead wrong. I feel like you prepare a lot. I do. That, I do. Which I, that to me is the best, it's the antidote for kind of every malady that we face as performers. Because <laughs> like, if you prepare, you're not, you're, it, you're not going to be nervous. You're just going to be like, no, I'm just going to run this system that I've been prepping. I, I prepare so much, Neil that my wife, she told me, I think you have a learning disability. <laughs> because what I would do is write my lines. Shout out to wives. Yeah, she, yeah. this is one reason why I'm so messed up. But she said, I think you have a learning disability. I mean, because I would fill notebooks. I mean, yeah. with just my lines. Yep. And I would rewrite them so I knew them. And I yep. could rewrite them. I had the same so, system. You see, and I mean, Phil, Pat, it looks like, Literally, like, uh, like a you know, Jack person. Nicholson yep. and the whole thing. Yep. Like, it's just all work, no play makes Jack and yeah, yeah. And I have full of old lines, and it just keeps. And she's like, something's wrong here. You did all this. I, I can't be unprepared. I can't feel like nothing worse than walking on set and feeling like you don't know what's happening. Yeah. And, you, and you're the problem. Yeah. I don't want to do that. And that's another thing, as I've realized, I can't wing it. I can't wing it. And I don't know if I've said this on, I might've said it on Keenan Thompson's podcast, but when there was a Mark Twain tribute for Chappelle, right? Mm. And it's like Jon Stewart and and Aziz and heavy hitters, right? Sarah Silverman and most Def and what, all these people. Wow. And, uh, and I did, and Jost and Che and Keenan and all these guys, and I did arguably the best. And when I got off, Keenan goes, how did you do that? And I go, I tried. <laughs> and it was the first time I ever really like prepped it. Yep. Had a thing, prepped, 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 prepped in my, they're all doing stuff. I'm literally going over a teleprompter on my computer. Yep. Like kind of rudimentary shit. Yep. And I think a lot of people wanted to be cool because Dave's cool. And all I'm right. like, I've been around Dave long enough to know like it's a different system. Yep. He is cool. He can wing it he's the only one yep. Yep. i really it's like not like someone's a, like he, he just can do it Amazing. i can't so i'm not gonna pretend i can yep. and i can just smell that on you like, all over like just over prepped over yep and then prep on top of that oh wait and you know what the nightmare is working with somebody who's like loosey-goosey yep I'm like, I had this whole thing prepared. And, and you're a square. You're a bitch in a square. <laughs> oh, dude. I come in and be like, please say say the line like it's supposed to be said yeah. because you just said something totally different. Yep. And and I'm going, will the director come in and tell this guy yep. to say his shit? Yeah. Right? I'm, and, I'm, and that's the point where you get too into everyone else. And, yep. And that, that's where that imposter syndrome is. Why it's do I burden. need to study so much? What's wrong with me? Do is my wife correct? The person who knows me the most in the world. Oh, no. Do I have a learning disability? I, 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 Should I, I quit? I'm, and then Should I, get I turn mad, myself I in? I tell her. I'm like, no, I, I don't. I, I just like to be prepared. She's like, no, no, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you Fine. have a learning disability. I, what's embarrassing for me is I'm just starting to understand that I need to do it. Yep. Like I did, I have a new show, did it I in New York and wasn't prepared enough and it was good but i really i had taken three weeks off i hadn't done the show in three weeks and i was like no it's in me and then it was like i spent the whole time trying to remember it and i was like i have to spit take two hours any time i do a show at least to that day we're to just memorize it we're brothers yeah because i'm trying to tell you that's that's me i i can't i just started terry (laughs) terry I'm talking about it's August this or it's September. This is in like June where I'm like, idiot, take the lesson from Twain 
take the lesson from so i take i get my fucking crazy notebook yep and i and i imagine it yesterday so i do a show saturday and at the comedy store had a new joke that i didn't try because it wasn't memorized enough and then i'm I'm gonna do it tomorrow today's monday long story short i spent 20 minutes yesterday just writing memorizing it there you go just like in a down moment on a sunday sh- cool people are smoking weed yeah. <laughs> right partying swimming I, hey man i never got these dude, people on set they're talking yeah like, like what like, are you doing so what are you doing tomorrow <laughs> i'm going dude i am studying my freaking line yeah got, listen this is so weird i have to have my sides in my pocket to say my lines correctly. It's weird. If my sides aren't in my pocket, I feel like I don't know them. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's strange because I'm not looking at them, but I just have to know they're on me. Yeah. And all of a sudden I can I can vision the lines and vision those things. But if the sides are somewhere I don't have them on me, I, I don't know the scene. <laughs> well, I'm also talking about meeting yourself where you are. Yeah. Like, all right, so, so what? So you need yeah. the sides. Yeah. So? Yes. But it's hard to do it's hard to accept like and you feel like am i do i have ocd do i have you yeah, start I judging like I should what you know have this all, yes. i've been doing this 20 over yeah. 25 years yes i should be able to wing everything right now yeah and you see actors that have been doing it and they can just look at a script once and toss it i've seen that can't not can't do it not, not who i am not me i've heard stories like sam jackson just doing whole monologues just yeah like uh, got it and yeah. you're like oh why can't i do that i can't yeah. do this i can't I'm not that dude. I got to spend like two weeks with it and have the whole thing open for, I, I what I do is keep scripts open and leave it there for a month and just kind of open, and if it's a movie or whatever, and I just go and then just constantly look at it over and over and over. Then I'll be able to write it without even looking and I know what's going on. Dude, it's, I'm not. I'm, yeah, but it's your, I love that. you have to accept that that's your system. You know what? But that's where that imposter and, syndrome yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then once you learn it, then I can improvise. Yeah, yeah. Then I can like have fun, but I don't, yeah. I'm gonna be, somebody one time said, I think Bill, William H. Macy told a buddy of mine, he's like, when you see actors like taking serious moments, a lot of times they're just trying to remember what they're supposed to say. <laughs> that's, that's really good. And like, I'm not trying to be like, I mean, whether it's stand-up or act, whatever, I just have to accept what my, body and brain need to do i love that about you neil this is thanks. good thanks Ty. no we, thanks we're, so we're brothers thanks this so much good. hey did you like that did you like that yeah did you like it though you want more don't want to work would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people first of all go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh watch more clips this is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in I'm not really used to the green screen.